So I'll explain a little bit, um, starting with, with what PET is. And so this is nuclear medicine, which means that in order to get an image, you need to inject a radioactive tracers. And that's what allows us to create an image. And with bone scan, typically you get a flat two dimension image. So the big concept uh, with the PET scan is that we have a ring of detector and by having a ring of detector around the area of interest we can collect three-dimensional information. Uh, if you want to think about it that way, it's a three-dimension bone scan uh, that we can do uh, with PET. And so a little bit of history, why is it a novel in the horse? The big issue was the accessibility to the PET scanner. The image you have here is a classic uh, human PET scanner. And so you can imagine that as much as we do have some CT scanners that are adapted for horses, having such a long uh, system here, it's not possible to get uh, a horse image with such a system. So PET became available to horses a few years back as technology evolves. There were now some more like a compact scanner. And so this is uh, at UC Davis uh, over four years ago now. This is the first um, PET scan ever performed on a horse. And so you can see that this little prototype uh, that I showed you, again, designed for the human head. So in order to get the horse foot in there, you can see that the horse is anesthetized and is on the table. And we bring that scanner on a cart. And so that's how we got the first uh, images. We concluded that PET helped to uh, see more things that, uh, than the regular bone scan and that it had some really good correlation with, uh, with the clinical uh, findings on the horse and the ability uh, to quantify. So that was uh, very exciting and I think everybody was quite um, happy with the results of that study, uh, but the main limitation was the need for general anesthesia. And so the concern was with the full ring, it was like too dangerous to put the horse limb in there if the horse was to move. And so that's why we came with that uh, design of an openable uh, PET scanner. And so what you see here is similar ring of detector as you saw on the previous scanner, but uh, this thing opened up. And so we had, uh, we had that concept like a, a couple of years back. And so then it was the uh, findings and the funding. So working with um, that same company that worked that builds the initial scanner. And so that's where we got uh, the support from Southern California Equine Foundation and the Stronach Group uh, to cover for the funding of this system. So this is what we've been working on this year. And so you see the horse like standing uh, with the fetlock being imaged. And so this is one of the images we obtained. So we were um, pretty, pretty pleased that the quality of this image is uh, very similar to uh, what we can obtain uh, under uh, general anesthesia. And so to illustrate um, a little bit how this works, so this is a horse being imaged. And so the concept is that if the horse was to move, you can see uh, the scanner uh, opening up uh, freely. 